Yeah. It was their time of sitting with one. So, so well, ten, six, till ten, number eight, 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 eight of this seventh eight, life being quiz of 2015. And uh, Tony Warnsley is going to ask 25 questions which nobody can get the answer to in order to sustain his position at the top of the leaderboard at the moment where you How can did see. you know I just changed all my questions? <laughs> Uh, and he wants them all in a foreign language as well. Okay then. Uh, good luck everybody. Uh, you can see the situation on the board. Don't forget to pay out the top three places on that column which is headed 19 next to my name. So currently in the top three places, Tony on 58. Oh, will Mark get in front of him on this on 52? And then kind of the little ones at the back. Steve R on 34, good showing. Uh, Mike on 24. So it's uh, all to play for. There's a lot of people who could be in the frame at the end of this in five games time. So, thanks for telling me. Let's do this. Right. <coughs> okay. This band was formed in Hoylake in 1996. They released their first single, Shadows Fall, in 2001. The self-titled debut album in 2002 was nominated for the Mercury Prize. <coughs> Chris, Snow Patrol. No. Minus one. Their um, first... Hang on. Do you want Go on. Their first top 30 hit was in 2002 with Goodbye. And they had their first top 10 in 2003 with Pass It On. The lead singer's called James Skelly. They're the greatest band of the... Oh. Eighth Clive. Coral. Yeah. They're, they're the greatest band of the 21st century. And they share, <laughs> and they share their name with the 35th wedding anniversary. Yeah. Uh, guess who I saw the Coral with? Who? Mark Kerr. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know it from any other school. want to do it in the morning. Yeah. 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 I said that. Got a... Oh, yeah. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Okay, so the river I'm looking for this time. It flows north from the Vosges Mountains in France and through the rich coal mining area in Germany. Ah! <laughs> Trent! What's this? It's uh, CFK. The Alsace? No. No! Michael? The river? No. What? What was that? No. Ah. Oh, that took mine up. Um, it's the end of the question. Yeah. Oh, you're at the end of the question. No. Ah. No. Steve, that. That's the same as else. Oh, Steve, yeah. that. See? Uh, Ron? No. Mike? Elb? No. Oh, Always? Everywhere? No. Mark? Ah. Same. I think no. I know what it is now. Uh, well, I think we all have to go at that. Uh, Chris, uh, did you say so? Saying, uh, uh, Loa? No. Is it? No, is it, is it Ramirez? No. No. Shelt? No. It's the Sar. Oh. Okay. I told you. I told you you were going to do that. <laughs> Which term for a punctuation mark is also used for a port's address to an absent or imagined audience? <laughs> Clive. Possibly. In a musical, Fiddle on the Roof, what was the occupation of Teddy? Ah, Clive Milkman. Yeah, of course it was, yeah. Okay, um, this is country I'm looking for. In this country, the equator meets the Indian Ocean. Its currency is the shilling, and its capital is a Mogadishu. Oh, yes! So my, oh, wait. Who's Mike? Mike. Mike. Mercy. Mike. Steve Kay's top. Mike as well. Oh, go on. Oh, yeah. Somalia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point, yeah. 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 Oh, point three of a second round. Um, <clears throat> okay, which player was. Hang on. Alright, I'll give myself a minus point, which is a bit daft of me. And Mike, you get a point as well. Which player? Where's the number? Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Okay, which player wears the number nine shirt in rugby? Ah, Trent! What? Oh. <laughs> Scrum out. Who's first? Scrum out. Oh, it's me. Steve K. Go on. Scrum out. No. So I was going to say it's rugby union, Scrum out. Yeah. Clive. To Scrum out, that's rugby union, isn't it? Yeah, but what? Yes, yeah, you've got, You've got a guess. You've got to guess. You're going to say the same as you. No, it's not Scrum out. Sorry. Is, is it just Steve and Mark? No, it's Mark. No, no, no. Even though I've eaten, don't ask a rugby league question, man. <laughs> Michael? Uh, the winger. No. Uh, Steve Barr. Uh, Hooker. Hooker, that's right. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I took a sample of the two weeks. Uh, Steve Rhodes, two points. Yeah. 
Okay. Karani James, who won the men's 400 metres gold. What? <coughs> Michael. Grenada. Well, the Michael. Oh. First medal of any kind. The Olympics, not just gold. Was. In Dante's Divine Comedy, what's um, the name so, of so, uh, Yeah, go on. In Dante's Divine Comedy, who's the poet who is Dante's guide? Ah! Clive. Virgin. What was the name Hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take a moment. Go on. Yeah. What was the name of the progressive school established by E.S. <laughs> Michael. Summerhill. Summerhill, yeah. Well done, yeah, okay, it's the US state I'm looking for. Its state bird is the western meadowlark. Its state flower is the wild prairie rose. One of its nicknames is the flickertail state. Its largest city is Fargo. Ah, it's right. Oh, yes! It's a South Dakota. No. Ah. Who's next? Uh, Michael. Michael. Uh, Minnesota? No. Mark? Arizona? No. Steve C? Nebraska? No. Five? North Dakota? North Dakota. I want to say it's capital is Bismarck. Right. Steve K minus one. Michael minus one. Is the second season any good? Mark yes. minus one. Uh, Steve C minus one. And Clive mopping them up again. Okay, it's a record I'm looking for now. <clears throat> this record was the first British single to be awarded the gold disc. It, it reached number two in the US charts in 1961 for Jorgen Inman and his guitar. Ah! Tell us now. No. Steve came out as well, as usual. Okay, so, so it reached number two in the US charts in 1961 for Jorgen Inman and his guitar. In 1960, it reached number 24 in the UK chart for Bird Whedon. But the most famous version reached number one in the UK for The Shadows. <coughs> Michael Apache. Mm. What is particularly significant oh, about. Oh, sorry, man. Steve. <laughs> what is particularly significant about the clergy house in Alfred and East Sussex? Hey, Tom's child. Mike. Run by women. No. Clive. Um, it's the first National Trust program. Well done, yeah. Well done. Mario de Philippis in 1958 was the first woman to come. Ah. Oh, yes! Clive, Formula One. Yeah. yeah. This Channel 4 TV series featured Fiona O'Shaughnessy as the character Jessica Hyde and Geraldine James as MI5 agent Milner. It's also the name of a book written in 1516 by Thomas More. What? Clive, Utopia? Yeah, I thought somebody might sing the series apart from me. Okay, who was the Premier League record for the most penalties in the season? <laughs> Michael. Uh, Leticia? No. Chris? Andrew Johnson? Well done, yes. Yeah. Oh, well yeah. done. Well 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 I didn't know until I read it this morning. Yeah, 2014 15. Okay, I'm looking for an author. His first novel was in 1895, Almayer's Folly. Five? Conrad. I thought you knew might not know that one. Okay, got a lot easier. Well then. Okay, who was the first English bowler to take two, S two test hat-tricks? The first one was in India in 2011. The second one was... What? Steve, uh... Stuart Well done, yeah. Okay. The second was in Sri Lanka in 2014. What type of car was kit in Night Rider? Ah, <coughs> uh, I presume... Yeah, I did press the Stage C was a... But it's a Transam. Oh, sorry? It's a Transam. Oh, this is one more. A bit more. You're right, it's a Transam, but it's a bit... It's a Mirko one. Oh, ah! 
Sorry? Ford? No. no. Michael? Firebird? A bit more. Transam Firebird? No. Pon <laughs> Pon yeah. Pontiac? Pontiac. Pontiac. Pontiac Firebird. Pontiac. 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 Have you finished the question? Yeah. Have I given you two points there, Michael? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a film composer. He's, he wrote the scores for Gladiator. Ah! Oh! Drink! James Harmon? No. Uh, Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. Oh, of course it was Hans Zimmer. Michael, well done. This is his best effort. Okay, this is where we'll see who the intellectuals are. Can I uh, just can I give myself a minus point, please? You can, yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> you two if you want. Uh, right, this is the intellectual question of the day. What school did Bessie Bunter go to? Oh, <sighs> Everyone knows Billy Bunter, but who knows Bessie Bunter? <laughs> White Flyers. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brown Flyers. <laughs> no. No, no. Not no one. Drink! Roddy. No. Did nobody read Bessie Bunter as a kid? Great show. No. It's not a guessable, you have to know it is not, but Cliff, ha Cliff House. I like Bunter. I like the back page when she was in her underwear. <laughs> Put clothes on. <laughs> okay. Is that, is that 19? Number 19 is not too there. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll give you 19 on that. You can ask Bertie anyway. Okay. Okay. Um, right. He's the father of the legendary Gaelic warrior Ossian. He was the hero of a 18th-century poem by James Macpherson, and a famous cave was named after him, Hunt Stapper. Drink five. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah. No. Okay. Mm. okay. So now just I'm looking for. I don't know. Clive, you have 20 points, and you 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 have one more point for. Neutral figures. <laughs> <laughs> right, so an actress I'm looking for. She was born on the 25th of June 1981 in Epic, Lincolnshire. She starred as Samantha in the 2008 British pilot of Bewitched. From 1999 to 2000, she played Emma in the Royal Family. Oh, <laughs> Mark, it's Jessica Hines. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Well, what's her name? Sheridan <laughs> Smith. Who said Sheridan Smith? Steve Adams. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, oh, Mark, uh, Mark, you lose a point. Of course, I do share this Yeah. Hey, uh, Steve, are you getting two points? And we're off. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, which letters are used in France and Spain that you couldn't have limited after a company's name? Oh! You just used to name whoever it is. Michael, sorry. Is it OCU? No. Two letters. Mike? Yeah. CC? SA. SA. Well done. That's 22, I think, isn't it? It's a um, Okay. It's a literary, literary character I'm looking for. She was originally called Pansy. And she was the heroine of a book written in 1936 and played on film by Vivian Lee. Mike? Charlotte Harris. Charlotte Harris, yeah. Okay. Okay, which football league team plays at the Castle Stadium? Chris. Oxford. Yeah. How do you pronounce that again? Kazan, Kazan, yeah, 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 McDonald? No. Clive? Sandy Lyon? No. Mike? Nick Fowler? No. Chris? Potter? No. Steve Lyon? Oh, it's Tech on mine. Oh, yes! So, I love these hairs, I can't think. Anybody else? No. Is it me? Mark? Wooshman? Yeah. 
Ian Woosman was here. No, eighty seven. About eighteen people. Eighty seven. Yeah, late eighties, yeah, sometime, yeah. Right, this is the last question. Okay. It's a film I'm looking for. The sequel in nineteen eighty three. Sorry? Sorry, sorry, mate. The film I'm looking for, okay? The sequel in nineteen eighty three starred Jackie Gleason and Matt Deer. <coughs> Michael the Sting. Well done, yeah. Yeah, we'll get further than that. Well done. Yeah, I done this yeah, that's you. So good. Oh, I, I don't know how people think of slack up.